Do you have flat feet? Are you suffering from foot and ankle pain while you're running? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and strategy on how you can manage your discomfort while running with flat feet. Let's go! Hi, I'm Melanie the Physio, also the co-founder of Capital Physiotherapy here in Australia. Having flat feet doesn't necessarily stop you from running or means that you're gonna be bad at running. Although having flat feet sometimes can cause some discomfort while you're running. A lot of people who run and is running very successfully do have flat feet. Your arches are supposed to act like a natural shock absorber. They are supposed to flex and roll slightly at impact to spread your weight over larger area and a longer period of time. This reduces the strain and stress on muscles, bone and your joints. Therefore, if you have flat feet for a starter, you may not have as much shock absorption as someone who have a normal arch. And that is especially true if your flat feet is quite rigid to begin with. This means that the impact forces can't dissipate properly and more stress get transferred to the bones or the muscles over your ankle, your feet and your legs. Another thing that flat feet runner tend to do is they have a higher risk of overpronating their feet than people who have normal arches. In the other word, instead of rolling inward just a little bit when transferring weight, which is normal and healthy, the foot actually rolls inward too much. And most of the time, this is actually the main reason why a lot of flat feet people is experiencing pain while they're running. It's not really the arch itself that's causing the problem, but it's the constant overpronating, which means overrolling your foot while you're running that is causing this problem. You can actually have flat feet, but not overpronate. They are actually two separate things. But more common than not, people with flat feet tend to have flat feet and overpronate while they are running. Since the pain is resulted from overpronation and not directly from being flat feet, some flat footed runners do not experience any pain even though they have flat feet simply because they do not overpronate. Hence, in this video, I'm going to share with you some exercises that you can do to help control the amount of pronation or the amount of rolling inwards of your ankle while you're running. And hopefully with that, it will help improve the discomfort you experience while you're running. Now, if you like this video so far, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe and bell notification button down there right now so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming runners related video in the near future. Now make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss out on our bonus tip. Now the first exercise is massaging the arch of your foot to make sure that you don't have a rigid arch to begin with. Now you will need a golf ball for this exercise. Starting with the golf ball, put it in the middle of your foot. Try to put as much body weight as you can and roll the golf ball up and down your feet. You should feel that it's going to be quite painful and discomfort while doing this exercise. Roll it up and down for about one to two minutes and repeat this for about three repetitions. This exercise will help keep your feet mobile rather than rigid and it will help you transfer the load and the impact better when you're running. Now the next exercise is what we call lumbrical strengthening. Now lumbrical muscles are the muscles that actually help control your foot arch. So hopefully the stronger this muscle is, the better control of your foot arch you will have and that would in turn helps a little bit on the shock absorption while you're running. Now keep your feet nice and flat. Now to begin with this exercise, if you find it very tricky, you can start with using your hands. Now squeeze your toe together and lift that knuckle off to create an arch on your feet. Making sure that you're not clinching your toes, that your toe remains nice and long and it's really only the big knuckle that is lifting up. A lot of people when they start this exercise, they will feel cramping in their feet and that is perfectly normal. Keep practicing this exercise. This exercise is not about 
the amount of quantity you're doing them, but the quality of each movement that you're doing. So focus on the quality of the movement instead of quantity. Spend about a good five minutes every day practicing it. You can do it from the floor to start with, and then sitting down, and then standing with both legs, and slowly move to standing on one leg once you get better at it. Now the next exercise is to train up your ankle stability control because when you're running, your ankle and your feet need to maneuver around different terrain and with your flat feet, you'll find that it's very hard to control your ankle stability. So by improving the strength of your ankle stabilizing muscles, you'll be able to control your ankle better and hence in turn help with the efficiency of your running. This exercise is what we call calf raises with tennis ball. You want to put a tennis ball in between both of your heel. Squeeze that tennis ball nice and tight with your heel and come up into a calf raises and slowly lower them back down. Repeat this for 30 repetition and do that for three sets. This next exercise is also another ankle stabilizing exercise to help you control your ankle better while you're running. Now it's called calf raises with resistance band. Now tie a loop around the outside of your ankle, tie it onto something stable and stand on one leg, come up into a calf raise. Now because of the resistance band, it will try to pull your ankle inwards. Now to resist that, you would have to actively use your ankle muscles to pull it outwards to keep that nice straight alignment while you're doing the calf raises. Repeat this for 15 repetition. And then once you're done, you're gonna swap it Swap the resistance band so that now it's holding the inside of your ankle rather than the outside of your ankle. And repeat the same thing. The resistance band this time round will try to push your ankle outwards. And you have to actively use your inner ankle strength to pull them straight. So resist that resistance band and go straight up into a calf raise and then slowly lower them down nice and controlled. Repeat this exercise for 15 repetition as well. Do these two exercises and do them 15 repetition and three sets at a time. If you like this video so far, we have a whole playlist on our channel talking about running related topics. I highly recommend you check them out after this video. Now, if you have flat feet, a lot of people actually have foot insoles to help them with running, to help them support that arch a little bit better so then they are, they are not over pronating, which would help in turn improve their pain while they're running. Now, a lot of physio is sort of half-half on this opinion. Some physio are for orthotics, some physio are mm, not so much for orthotics. For me, my theory is because the way the natural arch works is they have to flex and flatten to actually help with shock absorption. If you had an arch support that is constantly holding it up, you don't actually help with shock, uh, shock absorption. All you're helping is the foot from over pronating. So that in turn would help you ease off the pain, but it doesn't actually help you very much in terms of how much you're absorbing your shock while you're running. So most of the time I encourage people who have flat foot and are experiencing pain while they're running to sure try the orthotics out. It probably will help relieve your pain but I always tell them don't rely on it too much because in the end you will find that you cannot wean off the orthotics. You will solely rely on them to help you with your pain. The best way to deal with it is actually to wear them while you're running long distance and while you're running short distance to actually buy those minimalism shoes where you actually have to use your foot control to start running and to control your running and at the same time do conditioning exercise that's going to strengthen your arch control, that's going to strengthen your ankle control and in that way you then won't solely rely on your shoes orthotics to help you to be pain free. I upload video here on a weekly basis on health and fitness related topic as well as injury rehab topic. 
Once again, I'm Melanie and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, happy and healthy. Good luck with your running. See ya!